guys, this is Puma Boons 88 And it's been a while since I've done uh, horror movie reviews. So I'm going back to my horror roots. So today, for my next horror slasher movie review. Child's Play 2. So for this second film, it came out in 1990. And it was written by Don Messini, and there was a new director named John LaFia. So for this second film, it turned out to be a successful horror film, and it hit up to the box office up to about 32.7 through 35.7 million dollars. Now that's a lot of money. In fact, it's a shitload of money. And the stars that returned from the first film were Alex Vincent, who played Andy Barkley once again. And let's not forget Brad Dorf, who did the voice of Chucky. There were been mixed reviews about this movie. Now, some said it was good, some said it was bad, some said it was not as better than the first film. To me, I'm in neutral and not as better than the first film. But it's a good, decent horror film, and I give like Child's Play 2 just to give it a chance, just to watch it. I could just watch it sometimes. During when uh, the first film was in theaters, um, Don Messini started writing a script and a storyline while the first Child's Play movie was in theaters. It took him about almost a year and a half to uh, finish the story. And with uh, United Artists that uh, debuted the first Child's Play movie, they said to um, Messini, sorry, we don't want to be involved with the sequel, so go find someone else. Bye. <laughs> A lot of company decline or refuse or don't even want to be involved with the Child's Play series, especially with Disney. I mean, can you imagine Chucky in a Disneyland, Disney World Park? A lot of kids would be very scared, giving him nightmares, and the parents would have to sue them. It would be a total disaster, and thank God Disney did not choose Chucky and license for him otherwise it would have been a nightmare so frankly last but not least that's where universal chose um child's play 2 to be in the movie so they accept it and throughout the years in the series that's where all the child's play belong to were the universal studios so this second film it starts out during the previous after in child's play 1 where chucky was all burned and now the company got the rights for the chucky doll back again but some strange reason, they didn't explain how they get the doll back. How did he, how did he get back from the good guys company? They took out one big chunk important. How did they get him into the company? That was my concern about. But that's where we meet the, this big time company boss, and he declines everything of what happened during that event. So his mom is in a mental institution, and he's now living in the foster home. And they didn't really explain what happened to the detective and his partner. Maybe they must have got fired or maybe they went to the mental institution with Andy's mom. So I'm not too sure, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, it kind of does. They finally rebuilt Chucky again and somehow a bolt of lightning just struck and I don't know how he came, came back to life. Um, didn't really explain it too much, so I didn't really get that scene at all. But anyways, Andy now lives in a foster home caring, and he still has nightmares of Chucky. So Andy gets adopted by Phil and Joanne, and he lives with them and along with Kyle. And meanwhile, Chucky tries to find where Andy lives in and tries to get the location. So finally, when uh, Chucky got into Andy's new home, he finds another good guy doll, and then he destroys it and replaces him. This is actually the same story. Chucky goes after Andy, and then he tries to transfer his soul to Andy's body, and then Andy's soul goes up into heaven. So he needs to find Andy soon, get out of that doll's body. Otherwise, he is screwed. There were a few deleted, extended, and alternate scenes, but most of them weren't really that important or not really a big deal. The alternate ending is where we see Andy and Kyle get out of the good guy doll's company. And where we see was Chucky's half face goes sinking down under the liquid wax 
bottle shit and then where the machine they just created a whole new Chucky doll and then Chucky just smile all evil and sinister and that gives us to a surprise that there there is going to be a Child's Play 3 movie but the problem was it wasn't an alternate ending it was an extending ending scene now if it was an alternate ending it would have been that Annie would have been too late to save Kyle getting killed in the machine or Chucky would have just uh, killed Annie right in the heart and that was it. That could have been an alternate ending. So most likely they didn't use not too much deleted scene. But there was actually one deleted scene that was really interesting. And they could have used that scene instead. Where the guy just um, gets electrocuted and then flies out of the window with uh, no blood or his hair sticking out. They could have used that scene and then where the lights go out. They could have used that scene instead. Now, where he, where Chunky did the chant to uh, transfer his soul to Andy's body, he started to bled, and which means that the chant didn't even work. So, because he spent too much time in that doll, so therefore he was trapped in there, permanent. So he had a permanent body forever, and that's where Chunky got really pissed off at Andy, and now goes off on a killing spree to go after him. <sighs> Poor kid. There was some good. Uh, kills in uh, this movie. I love the part where Chucky just um, sticks him up with a gun but then it turned out to be just only the squirt gun that he thought he was going to just um, let him go but he just um, suffocates him with a plastic bag. That was funny. <laughs> While he was laughing and I was laughing along with it too so it turned out to be just um, a comedy spoof film. Then another scene where Chucky using a big ruler and slapping the teacher multiple times. I find it really amusing and very hilarious. So at this point, Child's Play 2 became a, a horror slash comedy film. It wasn't too bad. I enjoyed watching um, the second film and it won't, it's not as better than the first film and it's kind of better than the other sequels. So Actually, the first two were were good. Um, well, the first one was really great, and the second film was okay but decent. And I really do enjoy it. And Chucky coming back and killing everyone, it just makes you want him to see more of him. And how really enjoying just um, where Andy gets accused and blamed for all the kills, but he always gets framed every time because no one believes that a living killing doll is doing all this. That's what a horror film is all about, that, that some people don't even believe in the supernatural. But for Child's Play 2, I would just consider just to watch it with a friend, or watch it by yourself, or even watching it at home. I wanted to imagine if they brought it back in theaters into IMAX. That would have been really cool. Nah, I don't think so. I'm just thinking too much. This is my life, and I love horror films. So just to rate this film for Child's Play 2, I will have to give it a, um, I have to give it a 80 out of 100. It's an okay, decent film for a sequel like this, and even when it was successful and hit up the number one box office back in 1990, maybe it was decent. And you know what? Maybe it was just because that people just didn't really have really time for a sequel, especially where. All the companies, they all refused and, and Universal just uh, chose Child's Play 2 instead to be a good sequel for it. And for the rest, Child's Play 3 through Curse of Chucky, they were starting to become comedy and ridiculous. But bringing Brad Dorf doing the voice of Chucky, he did a very good job and he was the best to be the voice of Chucky, the killer doll. And I do own this film on Blu-ray and DVD. And this is Piermont Bones 88 signing off and saying is Peace! Hi.